Vera did not know that she would give birth to triplets. According to all the ultrasounds, she had two babies. As it turned out later, the third one was hiding behind one of them, so they just didn't see him. When the girl woke up from anesthesia, the nurse stunned her with the news. Vera, who had been thinking for nine months about how to cope with two children, was terrified, she was a single mother. Her father ran away as soon as he found out about her pregnancy. There was no one to help her, and she didn't have her own place. Vera thought a lot, but decided to write a waiver. As soon as she felt better, she left the hospital, the girls she gave birth to were healthy and lucky. The first one was immediately adopted by a couple of doctors who worked at the maternity hospital. The other two first got into the local baby house, but in the first month they found new parents for each of them, the baby, who was adopted by doctors, was named Elvira. She looked remarkably like her foster mother, the same golden curls and perky smile. Therefore, few people could suspect that she was not her own. Elia was never denied anything and always got the best of everything. At first, she was placed in a private kindergarten, and also assigned to additional classes. The pool, advanced English language study and other lessons were all on her daily schedule, the second baby got into a family where mom worked as a teacher and dad worked as an accountant. She was named Arena in honor of Alexander Pushkin's nanny. She received a good education from childhood and could even get into the second grade right away, bypassing the first. But mom decided that she should study with her peers, the third girl was a little less lucky than her sisters. Tanya ended up in a large family, where several more children were raised. The girl always knew that her parents were not her family. They did not spoil the baby, but brought up all the children in strictness and honesty. The fates of the three sisters intertwined in an amazing way. When they turned seven years old, their families moved into the same multi-story building. Parents with many children received an apartment from the state, doctors took out a mortgage, and a third family bought a house after selling the old one. At first, nothing special happened. All three families lived in different entrances, so they did not overlap. Since the playground in the new building had not yet been installed, the girls did not meet in the yard, everything changed on September 1st. On this day, all three sisters went to the first grade at the same school. They showed up to the lineup in identical school dresses. Besides, they were in the same class, the teacher double-checked everything, but saw that the girls had different surnames. She asked if they were sisters. They answered, no, in unison. During the week, it seemed to the class teacher that she was corny going crazy. The woman could not get used to it and explain the amazing similarity of the schoolgirls. And then she decided to contact the director, soon the parents were called for a conversation. They didn't want to admit it, but they still told me that they had adopted the Refusenik babies. The school decided to keep this secret. The girls were told that they were second cousins, families and teachers calmed down, but the schoolgirls themselves realized that there was some kind of secret here. Tanya knew that she had been adopted, and she told the other two about it. They guessed that they were sisters, but did not tell anyone about it. All three made a promise to find out the name of the real mother and find her when they grow up. At the same time, their mother Vera, who was related by blood, was looking for babies, whom she so recklessly refused. She felt sick at home. She regained consciousness in the hospital. Doctors had to perform an emergency operation, after which the girl could no longer have children, she looked at everything with different eyes now. And she thought about her children every day. It was only after giving birth that Vera learned that she was entitled to benefits as a mother with many children. At the factory where she worked, she could get both separate housing and assistance, the girl decided to find her babies at all costs. But I found out at the hospital that they were adopted. Experts were not going to divulge the secret and the names of the adoptive parents. Rather, they could make an exception, 
but in exchange for a certain reward. Vera certainly did not have the money that the director of the baby's house asked for, already at home, the girl swore to herself that she would find her girls anyway. She decided to immerse herself in work to build a career. Every year, on their birthday, she put aside the amount she managed to save into the account. All this time, the heroine of the story was tormented by guilt and thought about how her daughters were living. Who adopted them, whether they are being taken care of, whether they are hungry and happy without her. Point eighteen years have passed since then. As every year, Vera came to the bank to deposit another amount into the account. The operation was supposed to be performed by a young girl. It was obvious that she had only recently got a job, because all her actions were coordinated by a more adult mentor. The name Arena was written on the badge of the new employee, Vera looked at the girl while she deposited the amount. She was thinking that her daughters should be the same age now. The woman could not imagine that she was looking at one of them, the second sister, Elvira, followed in the footsteps of her foster parents and enrolled in medical school. She decided to wait with the institute. Tanya always looked at her sister with secret envy. She couldn't help but think that she could have been in her place and grown up in a well-off and loving family. Tanya imitated Ilya in everything, so she also decided to go to college. By this point, Vera had accumulated the necessary amount. She withdrew the money and went to the baby's house. But by this point, the director had already changed. The new head did not demand a huge amount and gave her information about the adopted parents of the two girls. After all, the third was adopted in the hospital, the woman received the addresses at the passport office. Her hands and feet were shaking as she walked along the first of them. The door was opened to her by a young girl who seemed very familiar. It was Tatiana. Vera burst into tears and confessed that she was her mother, they talked all evening and part of the night. The girl's foster mother was not against it. Vera confessed to Tanya that she has two more sisters. But she had already guessed this a long time ago, the next morning, the mother finally saw all three of her daughters. Ilya and Irina looked at her with interest. But their hearts remained cold. They could not imagine how she could leave her own children in the hospital, despite the lack of money. The girls had not needed anything since childhood, so it was hard for them to imagine the tragedy of the situation, but Tanya, who grew up in a large family, quickly found a common language with her mother. Soon she was the only one who moved in with her. Over time, Elvira and Irina forgave Vera, but at the same time they could not communicate with her as closely as their sister. The woman refused to tell them about her father, after which they almost completely stopped seeing her. And Tanya did not keep in touch with her foster mother, for which her sisters scolded her more than once, fate turned out to have a wicked humor. A year later, Vera died. Her apartment was rented, so Tanya had to move out. She went to another city, where she got a job at a factory, and began living in a hostel, Soon the whole story repeated itself. Like her mother, the girl woke up in the hospital and heard the same words from the nurse, you have triplets. She understood why Vera signed the waiver of children many years ago, and did the same. But Tanya did not realize that she would soon regret it, and she would also be looking for her kids for many years.